My name is Jen Emmer. I'm a music teacher at York Middle School. Um, and when I was approached to um, do a workshop, um, I, I thought a lot about what it would be about. And my absolute favorite thing about coming to conferences like this is getting to speak with and discuss and dive into deep conversations with people that do what I do and find out how they're doing things in their school, uh, talk about how we do it in my school, and bounce ideas off of each other. And I knew right from the get-go that that was how I wanted to frame this workshop. Um, because I feel like there's never enough time to do those kinds of things. Um, I'm a huge nerd. Anybody that knows me knows I'm a huge dork, and I love almost more than anything talking about proficiency and jumping in and, and asking the hard questions and trying to figure out answers um, to questions that there are no answers for. Um, I, I like to reinvent the wheel and, and analyze what I do, and today in my workshop, I want to do that with um, colleagues that do what I do. Um, we're going to talk a little bit in the beginning about um, proficiency based and how the state is um, switching to a model that traditionally was more content-centered and now is becoming more student-centered. And, and what does that mean within the large ensemble? How do we do that within the large ensemble? Everybody in this room just about knows what it's like um, when you have a caseload of students that isn't the typical you know, 20 students in front of you in a math classroom. You have um, hundreds and hundreds of students that you work with. Um, so how does that look different for us as uh, arts educators? And, and how do we meet the needs of every student on a, a student-centered basis um, when we have so many? So that's, that's one idea that we're just going to kind of bounce around. Um, we're going to talk about three ideas, basically. Um, the idea of what do we want students to know and be able to do, ultimately? What do we want them to come away with? Um, how do we assess that? And then how do we use that data in a meaningful way um, to make sure that kids get the best education that they possibly can pre-K through 12? So those are the, the three big, I think, looming things in all of education, not music education, not arts education, but everywhere. So we're going to talk about that. Um, we're going to spend some time talking about, as a group, how we assess uh, what we teach. Do we need to assess everything that we teach? Um, and if not, what is that magic number? How much should we be assessing um, in order to get a really, really nice continuum uh, pre-K to 12? Um, I'm curious to bounce ideas around about data collection, um, how, how we, we as educators manage this data that we collect from assessments with hundreds of hundreds of students. What do we have uh, from models that are being used around the state? Is it working? What's not working? And feed off of each other as far as ideas for managing that data. Um, and what do we do with that data once it's collected? I know personally as an educator, um, a lot of times I have tons of assessment data that you know the kids leave and then it's like, okay, what do I do with this? How do we, how do we streamline it? How do we pass it from school building to school building within our district in a meaningful way? Um, and the, the bottom line is, how do we use it effectively in order to maximize student learning? Because it, it's all about the kids when it comes um, when push comes to shove. What technologies are we using um, in music specifically to manage our assessments? Uh, there are a lot of different avenues being used across the state as far as how we, we collect data um, in the performing arts and, and particularly in music. So what are we using that works really well? Um, and, and what are the hiccups? And, and problem solve with each other what we can do to um, overcome that. After that, we're going to break up into roundtables that are specific for each level of schooling. So we're going to have uh, an elementary group, a middle school group, and a high school group to dive into those same kinds of issues, but to do it um, on a, a, a school level um, so that you can have really have conversations with um, your peers. And those, those roundtables are going to be facilitated by Ashley Smith at the high school level and Cynthia Keating at the elementary school level um, just to really, really make it applicable to every person that's in the workshop. <coughs> 